I kicked off my new year by seeing this movie on the first day of 2024. And how lucky am I that this early on, I might have already found the worst film offering over the course of the next 12 months. Why do I do this to myself? Buckle up because it's time to talk about Founders Day. What's up guys, I'm Sully. Hope you're already having a great start to your 2024. Today we're talking about the brand new slasher whodunit film, Founders Day. All you need to know about this one is that the story goes like this. A small town is shaken by a series of ominous killings in the days leading up to a heated mayoral election. As accusations fly and the threat of a masked killer darkens every street corner, the residents must race to uncover the truth before fear consumes the town. So if you guys have spent any time on the channel before, you know that I am a massive fan of horror movies and I'm always down for a good slasher film. Black Christmas, Halloween, Child's Play, The Strangers, the list goes on and on. So when I heard that Founders Day was coming out and it was a movie that positioned itself as basically taking the plot from Scream, taking the plot from The Purge, and tossing them into a blender, I was ready for a fresh little horror smoothie. But unfortunately, what I didn't know is that the other ingredients ingredients were thumbtacks and dog crap, because holy shit was this one hard to stomach. Let me just put it this way, if you're a fan of smart characters, interesting storylines, and well-written dialogue, please do yourself a favor and watch literally any other movie that's playing at the box office instead of this one when it comes out, because the scariest thing about this horror movie is that someone thought it was a good idea to release it. Now, before I totally unleash my wrath on this film, I just want to say that it was very clear from the beginning that the movie is operating off of a shoestring budget. Maybe the project would have looked completely different if the director had a little extra cash to play around with or other resources at his disposal. Getting a movie off the ground and releasing it into theaters is not no easy task in the slightest, so I always have to commend young filmmakers that are able to actually make that happen. But for the most part, that's going to be the only thing about this movie you hear me commend, so let's get into the meat and potatoes here. Now I'm not going to lie, this one does at some points veer a little bit into the territory of so bad it's good, might be giving it a touch too much credit there, but I definitely laughed a couple of times during its runtime. Probably more at the movie than with it, but you take what you can get. And even though there are clearly a few moments that are intentionally played for laughs and meant to be very on the nose, for the vast majority of the movie, you're not totally sure that's the tone they're going for. So for better or worse, I just have to assume that they intended to play it straight, but absolutely miss the mark by a country mile. Most of the performances here are terrible, the dialogue feels like it was written by AI, and there are more holes in this plot than a fresh block of Swiss cheese. There are just so many times that I was left scratching my head while I was watching this movie, and I firmly believe that it's going to be some of the stupidest shit you've seen in a long time if you're a big horror fan. Because if you want a movie like this, that's copying Scream so much, to work on a fundamental level, you need to nail a few different things. A town being turned upside down for a compelling reason. Characters we actually give two shits about. And a decently satisfying killer reveal. Guess what? This movie does absolutely none of those things. None of them. I'll just leave it at this. When you need a massive exposition dump from the character underneath the mask at the end, or when you have to throw five twists at the audience in the last 10 minutes to make the ridiculous plot make any sense, you should know you probably overextended in a few areas. Now, from a technical perspective, there are just so many problems with this movie, man. It has this unavoidable student film and CW feel to it for the entire runtime. The way the scenes are blocked out and lit is really jarring. And don't even get me started on the editing or the lack thereof. Basically, this is like a home video me and my buddies would make back in the day. But if we then somehow tricked a movie studio into giving it a theatrical release, that is seriously what it felt like. And hey, I made some damn good home videos back in the day, let me tell ya. But if you think a movie of this quality is ready for the silver screen, we have much bigger problems here. Talking about a movie this bad is honestly kind of hard to do if you guys haven't seen it for yourself which I obviously wouldn't suggest in case that wasn't already clear. But there are just really no obvious redeeming qualities to this film, and if you're looking for a legitimately scary movie, keep looking, because the kills, the atmosphere, and the jump scares made me question if the director has ever even seen a horror movie in his entire life. As you can probably tell, this isn't really the note I wanted to start my new year on, but what can you expect when it comes to January horror? You gotta love it. Overall, guys, Founders Day should easily go down as one of the absolute worst movies of 2024, and we're only the first week into the year. The acting is atrocious, the dialogue is laughable, and the conclusion makes no sense. In some brief moments, it does hit a level of being so bad it's good, 
But whether or not that's worth your money and suffering is entirely up to you. For the sake of my own sanity, I'm praying this movie represents the lowest of the low over the next 12 months, or else we could be in for a real bumpy ride. Founders Day gets a Sully score of one star. Well, glad that's over, but let's try to end this video on a high note at least. What movies are you actually looking forward to the most this year? Let me know in the comments below so I make sure I didn't miss anything on my watch list. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys at the next one.